regret is a feeling that I should have done something differently and there's no point in that at all we want you to resolve that we're going to give you a stream of statements just listen and let's see if as we visit with you and as you just relax and listen let's see if that knot doesn't subside so just hear us there's nothing for you to think about nothing for you to do just listen as we speak we're going to speak to you from your source perspective and then we're going to speak as you from your source perspective you have always done what you thought was best in the moment of doing it sure. you have never been one to be unduly influenced by the peanut gallery that was clamoring around and trying to get you to go in a specific direction mm -hmm. you have been stubborn you might say in holding to your ideas and ideals well all of that is symptomatic of someone who's tuned in tapped in turned on who has closed the gap in other words you that that knowing that that knowing that you want to go a specific way even when many others are trying to guide you otherwise that knowing is uh, symptomatic of being in alignment with that source energy in other words you have been more tuned in than you know and a very funny thing here we think that the regret that you're having now is as much about you're not having been willing to please others as it is anything else what do you have to say about that yes that I haven't been pleasing wanting to please others is that what you're saying but we're Which saying is true you know really within that I have some creative powers that I should you know present I should there are things I have to do in the world uh, I have and done many things but uh, there's something that I haven't done well you see your frustration it, your frustration isn't about the things you haven't done it, it it's about it's about the story that you've heard us tell that life has caused you to become more are you understanding what we mean about vibrational escrow are you understanding that as you live life ideas keep emanating from you sure. and the source energy part of you embraces them and becomes them yeah. and that feeling that you're feeling is that you haven't quite figured out what thoughts to think to get you to be a close enough match to who you've become so that it will happen in your physical experience but you're on to it in other words that you've lived your life magnificently you've let the contrast parlay you into these places and we what have was that? What was that? we've you have let the contrast of your life shoot parts of you into this broader perspective and you have not been holding yourself as far apart from who you have been becoming through all of your life as you are now trying to put words to in other words we don't think that there's been a great big gap between you and you through much of your life but you know how as things build and build and build the longer Esther watched a television program last night on the evolution of ships and they bought a new house in San Diego not long ago and in that city there is a beautiful ship in dock in downtown San Diego called the Star of India and Jerry and Esther have been driving past it but they have not actually taken the tour of it and in the movie last night that Esther was watching they were explaining that that Star of India ship sort of stands as a monument as as the culmination of the ideas about shipping that took place over 5,000 years and it made Esther's appreciation of that ship so big because it made her realize that yes things are constantly evolving and expanding and becoming and there that ship stands as the best of all of the ideas so far to that point in its in in the evolution of this industry and in some similar way we're saying to you that the longer you live the more you become this vibrational escrow and the the more it becomes the more intolerant it feels to you not to not to get up to speed with it when you are a child having small contrasts you shoot your rockets of desire out and you more easily catch up the longer you live the bigger the rockets and the longer you live the more potential for the gap between you and you so it's not that there has been this big awful gap as you tried to explain to us between who you are and who you now want to be it's just that you've parlayed yourself in you, you what? the word we're using is 
you have evolved yourself you have become yourself you've expanded yourself you have launched rockets of desire yourself you have lived yourself into this powerful creative being that now more than ever before you want to live the fullness of it's not different from the man who sat in the chair earlier today who said the old thoughts don't don't ring my bells like they used to how can I get my bells to keep ringing and and the way you keep your bells ringing we love that you feel like this because what this is saying to us you're still vital and alive and you're still launching rockets and you're still aware this is the best part of all in what we're hearing from you we want it for everyone you are feeling the difference between who you really are and who you're being and you're wanting to do something about it you see that's the creative edge that's the creative creative edge that you intended when you said you would come forth in the first place to be here none of you ever said I'll go forth and I'll want it and I'll get it I'll want it and I'll get it and then I'll be done thank you very much I wanted it I got it I'm satisfied none of you ever said that you said I'll want it and I'll get some of it and then I'll want more and I'll want it and I'll get some of it and then I'll want more and my wanting will become so expansive that it will keep generations beyond me still summoning you see you're a huge summoner and the way you keep up with what you have summoned is by relaxing and by saying things now we started the process let us pick up and begin it again so now we want to speak about you and you from your current physical perspective in other words we want to we want to put words in your mouth so to speak we want to say things that you might say on a regular basis that will help that not to subside and that not that not subsiding automatically means the releasing of resistance and the releasing of resistance automatically means the closing of the gap the the allowing of you to become you and of course you don't want to close it completely because it never really closes completely until you croak in other words the death experience is the complete closing of the gap so it, it won't happen before not not in a steady complete way that you are yearning for in other words because you're still alive and yeah. as long as you're still alive there's still going to be contrast and as sure. long as there's still contrast there's still going to be becoming something more so it will never completely be closed because okay. there will always be a vibrational variance between the source energy you and the physical you okay good to know yes mm -hmm. however when you meditate you come into vibrational proximity in other words when you meditate you quiet your mind when you quiet your mind you stop thought when you stop thought you release resistance when you release resistance your vibration raises when your vibration raises you come into alignment with who you are when you are appreciating you're close to vibrational alignment with who you are in other words when you are feeling good that means the gap is closing when you are feeling bad or less than good it means it's widening to some degree so these are the things that we want you to practice saying I am I am living life and I am living it well I am making the decisions as best I can from where I stand my criteria for decisions has been changing and I've done the best that I could do every time every every time that is so accurate of you you've never been whimsical or or careless in the making of decisions you've always tried your best to make the best decision from the the balance of information that you have I have done well in the making of my decisions now I am overlaying a different what was that now I am we're speaking for you yes I am overlaying or I am oh. in infusing into my criteria now I am contemplating I'm considering now I am considering other things as important reasons for the choices I make in thought now more more important than being right I am making an effort to choose thoughts that relief this knot and I've noticed that when I beat up on myself the knot gets bigger I've noticed that when I beat up on others the knot gets bigger I've noticed that when I regret my past the knot gets bigger I've noticed that when I anticipate the future positively the knot gets softer 
I've noticed that I have control of the knot just by reaching for thoughts and practicing the thoughts that make the knot more acute more painful or the knot more soft and supple I believe we're saying for you I believe that I have the ability to dissolve to resolve this knot altogether I believe that I have the ability to speak the words and think the thoughts that bring me into alignment with who I am so I'm going to begin here I believe I am a good person I believe I'm I believe I am a good person Thank you. I believe that I was born of source energy I believe that I am living my life well I believe that my life is unfolding as I intended for it to unfold I believe that I have set many things into motion I believe that I have the ability to understand the things that I've set into motion I believe that there is more for me to do I believe that there is more for me to do I believe that there is a big thing in vibrational escrow maybe many big things and I have this feeling within me that I can't quite find them but I'm wanting to know that I can I'm wanting to trust that if this time space reality has the power to inspire that desire from me that this time space reality has the ability to deliver it to me and my frustration has been because I thought I couldn't find it but now I'm understanding I can find it because I'm going to feel my way to it I understand now that the dissolving of the knot means I'm moving toward it the intensifying of the knot means I'm not in other words I can feel that this guidance is literally letting me know what I'm looking for you following us so what do you think it is what what hints has your life given you what do you think you're looking for <clears throat> you know you mean are you talking about the, the negative that which has given me that uh, feeling we're, we're talking yes we're talking about that guy that's but, a very bad childhood that's a divorce and uh, all kind of things uh, I'm sure of that uh, and an operation uh, and uh, some accidents um, but and, you see, and being kicked out of home and being kicked out of school and a lot of things that I have managed see, but you see you got kicked out of all of those places sure. because you were not a vibrational match to any of those places right. it's listen back to the conversation that we just had that there are energies like you not so different from you that are being born now who want so much to be absent of this knot that you're describing mm -hmm. that they are coming forth being born different enough that nobody can make them conform you lived in a society you were that kind of being coming forth into a society that insisted that you conform and you were unwilling to conform that's true and what this what this conversation is about and what your life has been about is that you've been looking for love in all the wrong places in the sense that it was not in those homes and it was not with the, the what you're looking for is the alignment between you and you though it was never in those places but now as you stand in at this stage of your life and you continue to tell the story that it was about that when it wasn't about that it was never about that it was about your independence it was about your freedom seeking it was about your autonomy it was about your knowing who you were it was about you not being willing to be infused into the society and made into a puppet that would do the things that others would do that's why you've lived a big life that's why you have vast resources that's why you've been a value to so many people because you were not listening to those who were outside of you trying to get you to conform you always could feel what was coming forth from within you in a stronger way and our message to you now is don't now begin condemning that very thing that's been serving you so well just understand it and the knot will go away